Hi, og velkommen til Johnson's Journeys, as they say in Norway, or in England. Hello, and welcome to Johnson's Journeys. Um, I've been brushing up on my Norwegian a little bit. Um, we're back at Valarenga. Uh, we haven't left, and I've listened to, to you lot. We are going to stay. Um, we did get approached by Rangers over the summer, had a job interview, but nothing came of it. Uh, so, we're happy to stay with the Enger boys uh, until someone offers us a job perhaps during this season or probably we'll leave at the end of this season but um, we need to carry on with the journey that's the whole idea of the save so um, so we're back for the first game of the second season against Rosenborg today um, we'll get into that in a second firstly I'll just bring you up to date with our transfers um, made quite a few but only only a few of them um will will play this year um a lot of these are younger younger players for the future uh the top two obviously you can see we've spent two hundred thousand pounds on them so had a bit of money to spend which i will also explain shortly um so the first one kietil haug is a 19 year old keeper from Manchester City and um, we've brought him in as a backup keeper he's got the potential to be uh, brilliant his ability at the moment is not quite as good as Revishvili so um, we needed more Norwegian players so we've brought him back to his, his native Norway so pleased with that signing um, and the other £200,000 player is Morten Conradson, a 21 year old central midfielder from Bodo. Plays as an advanced playmaker, which is the role that Burge played last year. So, Conradson is basically a straight replacement for Burge. Um, he's got really good potential as well, but he is he's good now as well. So, he will be in the first team, and um, we'll probably see quite a lot of him this year uh, so that's another signing I'm, I'm pleased with uh, the rest really are uh, youngsters um, obviously I introduced you to Ugo Chukwu and Olsen last episode the only other player that will be in and around the first team definitely anyway is Thor uh, a player called Thor Lange I think it was I've just nicknamed him Thor obviously um, not quite as strong as uh, I was hoping but you know we're sort of forcing the nickname a little bit but uh, he's coming as a backup left back um, for Lindqvist um, so we'll probably see a little bit of him I don't intend to play him that often because he's not the best so um, so that's the ins uh, in terms of outs obviously Viola retired and is now part of our coaching staff Omarsson and Falch um, were in and around the first team but never really had a shot Omarsson was a winger and we're not playing wingers so I let him go and Felch was um, just a backup keeper so but you may notice here there's a couple couple of big names that have departed um, Magnus Lekven has, did, has left us uh, for Sturm Graz they offered 250,000 um, you know he's a good player but he didn't really do anything for us last year I think he got like one assist and his average rating was like 6.8 so he wasn't really a standout player um, 30 years old as well so I thought we'd let him move on um, so he has so see you later and Sandberg has also left um, for Dynamo Minsk uh, you know we had problems last year with squad registration and uh, what not so the Swede um, was never going to play ahead of Revishvili um, so again we've let him move on for some money so and quite a lot of loans out no one that was really in the first team um, Castro has gone out on loan um, because obviously now we've got Ugo Chukwu who's had a really good pre-season so um, so yeah we'll show you the, the squad for today nothing drastically changed we're still playing the 5-4-1 or 5-3-1-1 one, one, if you like um, we actually conceded the least amount of goals 
in the league last year, which was something I was really happy about. Uh, and with the addition of Ugo Chukwu, I think that we're going to get plenty of goals. Um, so that the combination of those two, I'm quite optimistic of a a good finish this year. Um, I think we're predicted seventh again, so um, we'll try and we'll try and get that. I think, yeah, I'm I'm positive that we can we can finish higher than that. Um, title challenge may be too soon, although I wouldn't rule it out. Ugo Chukwu really does have the potential to be excellent for this team, so we'll have to see uh, how he gets on. Um, Revish Billy in goal. Lundstrom and Lindqvist keep their spots uh, at the fullback positions. Um, Tyce Browning uh, makes his debut today. Patrona is injured, unfortunately. Um, so Browning partners Nakim and Ojala. So the standard bat five. Uh, in the midfield, Grindheim keeps his spot. Tobias Collette comes in. Um, he's, as you can see, he's rated two and a half star. So um, a decent first team player. His loan last year must have done him the world of good. So he comes in today and plays alongside Conradson, who also makes his debut. Uh, Jonathan Benteke plays just behind... Chai Dozi Ugo Chukwu. Um, I've benched Abdulouai because he didn't do anything in pre season. And Ugo Chukwu got like three and four or something. So uh, On the bench, Haug. Um, Sandra Kumar is a player you've probably not met yet. Um, he was out on loan last year. And again, he's developed quite nicely. So he comes in as our backup right back, which unfortunately means. Uh, Jaeger bomb is unlikely to get much of, a, of an appearance this year. So we've also got Nodrebo who plays on the right. I'm trying to get rid of him as well. Uh, Christopher Hay sits as the backup centre back on the bench. Um, we've got Rhino Falk Larson and Marco Larson as central midfield options. Larson obviously was one I bought in last year but couldn't register. Um, can play central midfield or attacking midfield um, we've got Aaron Donham on the bench and Abdulouai as well um, a few players unregistered basically anyone that's not Norwegian is registered Kieran Richardson unfortunately Olsen, Bellon, Matty Taylor as well um, who also has had a good pre-season but there's just no room for him in the squad so Oh well, um, Elsie Butangen is uh, another player that was out on loan last year and is our third choice striker now, um, developing nicely as well, so something to keep an eye on. Uh, so, we'll get into it. Uh, I think Rosenborg maybe did the double over us last year. Uh, they definitely beat us towards the end of the season. 3-2 um, so it's going to be a difficult first game today uh, oh, you've got some match sharpness but that's alright it's the first game of the season isn't it um, Gietagia um, is their key man quite a good striker I did scout him over the summer uh, over the, I keep saying summer, over the end of season break, but we're keeping faith with Abdulouai and the youngster Ugo Chukwu. Uh, that'll do nicely. In we go. First game of our second season. Uh, Browning making his debut. If you're enjoying the the series, then uh, make sure you subscribe and like and comment and whatnot. Uh, the support I've had is excellent as always. Um, oh, what happened there? Hanson put it in his own net. We take a lead. 
brilliant Grindheim. I think he just drops that in. Well, that's a great start. Love it. Well done, boys. Started brightly. Linkfist. Linkfist won our player of the season, so if you did vote for Linkfist, then congrats. Oh, Benteke scored as well. 2 0 up after 20 minutes. Cool, boys. Comrades and Ugo Chukwu getting an assist. Lovely finish. Oh, I, I know it's only the first game of the season, but I'm quite excited. I genuinely think that this team is really good, and I think it can do do something special this year. We've got strength in the first eleven. We've got a bit of strength in depth as well. Obviously, we haven't got Europe to contend with um, or anything like that. So hopefully, we can link this three nil. Not even half an hour gone yet. Hugo Chukwu with another assist. Wow. He looks like an absolute steal, this kid. Boys, I'm ecstatic with this. Couldn't have wished for a better start to the season. And if we do well here, we might get a really good job after this as well. Um, I don't want to go like... Like, I was linked with the Watford job, I think it was. Which would have been a step too far. Uh, the Rangers job would have probably been around the right level. Um, they were also having a poor year as well, so it, it would have fit with the underachievers theme of the of this series. Um, but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to shoot straight up to. I don't want to go to a Premier League team. That's boring. Um, you know, some another another top team in maybe Denmark or Sweden or uh, a lower team in Portugal perhaps something like that that's around the level I'm I'm looking for the next one I want a sort of slow steady progression to the top if we can eventually get that way um, yeah like I say I'm happy to stay at Valoranga for the season at least um, but if we do get offered a job during this season then it will be something I consider um, although like I say I do have a a feeling that this could be a good year for this team. Um, it's definitely capable. So I'd love to go on and, and win the league with them. Um, but it's the first. It's the first game of the season. I'm probably getting ahead of myself. Uh, half an hour left. We'll make a couple of subs. Grindheim is booked, so Falk Larson can come on. Um, we'll give Marco Larson his debut. Yeah, why not? As a shadow striker. Um. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We'll leave Ugo Chukwu on. See if he can get a debut goal to add to his two assists already. That'd be great. Um. Nothing else has happened really in this game yet, so holding them off. Comradson, oh, just loses it. Giataka, Giataka. I don't know. Felt Larson wins it there. They're keeping the ball nicely. Ball out wide. Oh, and Browning missed his header and they've got one back. I have not a clue how I even say that. I think it's Icelandic. Bjordison or something like that. Borarinson. Or something like that. Ah well, well, as long as they don't uh they don't do a comeback we'll be alright. Hugo Chukwu. Looks a really good player. Lundstrom whip it in. Larson! What a goal! What a goal! Goal on his debut. Great assist for Lundstrom. Lovely bit of play from Hugo Chukwu as well in the build up. Oh, boys. Rosenborg are like favourites for the league, I think, as well. 
we're doing them over four one away absolutely mental what we'll also do we'll get Sandra Kumar on for his debut Lundstrom is tired Oh boys we're loving it absolute trouncing can we get another one late on just to add to it it doesn't look like it get that away get it away there we go full time 4-1 winners wow that's special brilliant boys puts us top of the league it's the first game of the season I know I know but we had a really good year last year after our we had a bit of a dodgy start and we grew into it and now this year we've started well so hopefully oh this could be our year this could be our year right well We'll only do the one game today. Um, I'm going to try and make this season um, more regular. Uh, bring you back every like three games or something like that. Um, so that'd be ten episodes for this season. So that'd be that'd be fine, I think. Um, obviously, let me know in the comments uh, if you think we've made some good signings. If you think letting the two players go that we did was it the good decision or not um, let us know who who you're most excited by all that sort of stuff draw for the Norwegian Cup first round so we may come back for that it depends um, who it is if it's some like third division team we won't bother um, so we'll either do a double that and then the mould game or we'll just be back for the mould game on Friday so um, so as normal drop a like give us a subscribe um, give us some feedback on Twitter Facebook whatever um, it's all welcome um, and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching